welcome back to my channel it's Sierra, and i'm back with a warm cozy sweet routine for fall i have a couple of new products here that i'm absolutely loving and need to put y'all on to so let's just hop right in fall is all about pumpkin spice and as you can tell i've been loving this candle from sniff you guys i need another one immediately it literally smells like sweater weather so hopping into the shower i'm starting off with the tree hut cinnamon dolce foaming gel wash now this this smells so delicious it's like a warm fall spicy smell kind of gives like pumpkin spice latte vibes and i always use my eco tools bath net because i do feel like this just gets you a lot cleaner than a regular washcloth plus it's more sanitary and hygienic than a loofah if you haven't picked one of these up yet you need to run to target and get them they've been selling out like crazy recently they're only like three to four dollars and they make such a difference in your routine i'm telling you That i'm going in with the body scrub i'm obsessed with the dove brown sugar coconut butter scent i really do like the dove scrubs because they aren't too abrasive they're actually kind of moisturizing too you can kind of tell from this texture it gives like a little bit of a lather these dove scrubs are sort of like softening scrubs in a way and the key to a good shave is always good skin prep you want to make sure that you're getting off all the dead skin so you get a nice even shave Next, I'm using my L'Occitane shower oil. This is their almond shower oil, and it has the most delicious powdery almond scent, kind of like an almond cookie. And this is an oil that lathers up into like this milky lather with water. So it just emulsifies and gives your skin this really soft feel afterwards. I like using this as a body wash, but I also love using it as a shave oil slash shave cream. Plus I love a product that leaves your entire bathroom smelling good, and this is one of them. I like to use the Gillette Venus Sensitive Skin Razors. These are extremely gentle on my skin, but they still do a really good job. Hopping out of the shower, I am starting on my skincare routine. So I'm just using my La Roche-Posay Foaming Wash on my Foreo Luna 3. I love this device because it automatically turns off at 60 seconds. So I know that I've washed my face for the right amount of time. I don't necessarily do this all the time in the morning. I mostly use it at night just to get off all my makeup and stuff. Then I'm going in with the face mask. This is the Naturium AHA mask. I'm very impatient, and this is one of those masks that you can't leave on for more than five minutes, so it's like, okay, perfect. Just put it on and take it off after two minutes. I've only used it twice, so I can't really tell y'all how it makes my skin feel so far. If it's Naturium, I know it's going to be good. Moving on to the rest of my skincare, I'm using the Clarins Double Serum. This is a great product for the dry skin girls. It has a lot of healthy fats and lipids for your skin, so it just gives you that plump, supple, hydrated look. It's also a really good product for barrier repair, and I just make sure to put that all over my face as well as my neck.
Now I'm using a bit of eye cream. This is the Inkyless Caffeine Eye Cream because I was looking a little bit tired. I'm not really a huge eye cream girl, but I do like this one for daytime and for underneath my makeup. After that, I'm using my favorite moisturizer. This is CEO After Glow from Sunday Riley. This is a brightening vitamin C moisturizer. It also has turmeric, so it really helps to brighten and give your skin a nice glow and radiance. And I would say try this one out. Okay, we have the newest product from Soleil de Janeiro. This is the Chirosa 71 Body Cream. If you're a gourmand girl, then you're gonna love this. If you know the body spray, it smells like warm macadamia cookies and caramel. That's exactly what this cream smells like, but it also has shimmer, so it gives your skin a nice little glow. This cream smells so edible, warm, and delicious. I saw a TikTok that said that anyone that likes smelling like gourmands just wants to smell like a calorie, and yes, that's basically what this is. You're gonna smell like a walking calorie, a walking snack, just a little treat. I fear this might even be better than the EOS Vanilla Cashmere. For that, I'm going in with a little bit of body oil. This is a Kopari Golden Aura Oil. This has 24 karat gold in it and hyaluronic acid. So although this seals in moisture, it's also going to moisturize just a little bit more. This has a super light vanilla, maybe even coconut smell. It's a very faint scent. I really just love glossy looking skin. So this is just to add that extra glow. For the cherry on top perfume, I'm wearing Oso Verde's Vanilla Ember. This one's new in my collection and I love it. It smells like fall in a bottle. It's a spicy vanilla with cardamom, some creamy sandalwood, jasmine, and a little bit of turmeric. Get a sample of this from Twisted Lily and I'll also leave it linked down below. But that is it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye. Can't trust in me. I can't, you said, I can't trust in you.